Hi folks, Mark here, Views from Mark. Um, I finally got around, after about eight months of waiting and saving, etc., um, to finally buy uh, a new editing Mac. Um, this is basically replacing a MacBook Pro that I've had for 11 and a half years. Um, how it's kept going, I don't know, but it has. It's been a brilliant computer. But the time's come where I needed an update, obviously, to be able to edit high definition uh, video files and photos. It was slowing down a lot. So I decided to invest in a brand new 2018 Apple MacBook Pro. So this is just the unboxing video. Um, I went for the kind of the middle of the range spec, well, the, the higher end spec. Um, I went for the upgraded processor and also the upgraded SSD hard drive to one terabyte. You could get the two terabyte option, but really for me, I, I, I don't work with files um, where I need that kind of two terabyte storage in one location, so I use external hard drives. So once we get the box open, um, you're greeted with the sight of this beautiful gun gunmetal grey finish or the space grey finish uh, Apple MacBook Pro. Um, removing that from the box, you have the customary power leads inside. In this case, it's the USB-C connection or the Thunderbolt connections that they've got. Uh, you've got a small package with all the kind of warranty info and kind of a quick start guide as well as they also give you some uh, of the Apple stickers in there. Um, so they're quite cool to have, you know, stick them on books or what have you. And then underneath that, you've got the actual transformer or the power unit um, that powers the Macs. So you've got the the plug adapter there, obviously being in the UK, we use the three pin socket um, and the, the power unit there that the USB-C connects into. Once again, if I take this out of the box, we can get a look that it comes in this uh, protective film in effect. Everything that Apple seemed to sell, they, they really put a lot of thought into the packaging. So it arrives um, with you kind of in as pristine condition as you could imagine. So once we remove this packaging, um, you can just get a real look at that space grey finish and it's it's really, really beautiful to look at. Um, there is the lighter silver colour, but I, um, like my phone, is a space grey, so I thought I'll go for the space grey MacBook as well. So opening up the Mac, uh, you can see I've gone for the 15 inch. Um, you also get this kind of insert here, which kind of protects the screen. Um, and once you remove that, the first thing I was quite surprised is that the, the, the computer's actually already turned on. It's ready to be set up. Um, so once you kind of go through, you select your country, uh, what region you're in, get your Wi-Fi set up. Um, it's a really quick process, a couple of simple steps. And after about a minute or two, it's all set up and you're greeted with the welcoming screen. As we pan up now, you can see the large trackpad that is just below the crisp, clear keyboard that it comes with, as well as the touch bar, which is going to be an interesting feature to delve into and start using. Um, compared to the old MacBook Pro, which you can see here, which I've previously been using, you can see obviously it's a lot darker in color being the space gray. The screen size is exactly the same, it's 15 inch. But when you have a look at this side on, you can see just how much slimmer um, and a lot trimmed down the new MacBook Pro is. In fact, when you close the lids, it's about half the size, half the thickness, which is quite remarkable. Weight-wise, it comes in about 595 grams lighter than the old MacBook Pro, so that will be a lot lighter to carry about day to day. Um, overall, I'm really pleased with this. Uh, it's working fantastically well. It's a joy to edit with, um, and yeah, I look forward to using it more to create more content for this channel and uh, more videos and photos. If you've enjoyed, please like, please subscribe.